Hello everybody and welcome to today's patch update for Death Garden. Yesterday we got some news on the Death Garden Insider 6 that we'll be getting a patch today. In this patch we'll be given a new map, experience balancing, new skin, and ranked leaderboard. We'll also be talking about the developer's philosophy on the instant executions and what changes will come. If you want to check out the full Death Garden Insider, I'll put the link in the description down below. So to start us off, we get our sixth map. This map is a new snow biome that will introduce trenches and various new assets being the most unique map we've seen to date. We will also see the beautiful addition of aesthetics such as the northern lights in the sky. Next, we'll be introduced to the new proving ground. This will serve as the leaderboard as it will have a weekly reset. This leaderboard will be ranking players based on their best match within the week with the highest experience gain. Players will be ranked from Stone to Grandmaster and they'll be placed based on being within a certain percentage of players. Only so many people will be granted certain titles for the week so you'll have to work hard to reach those ranks. Rewards for such ranks have not been announced but they are not impossible for the near future. Finally, the developers address some feedback. The primary feedback is the instant execution. It is clear for many players that being instantly defeated does not feel amazing. However, the developers feel that this keeps the tension that Death Garden is known for. They've made the statement that they will not be changing this, but instead addressing the hunters that have been only instant executing and giving them proper rewards and incentive to leave scavengers on the ground. Hunters are granted a bonus of experience for giving players a second chance and downing as many scavengers as possible, but many hunters will ignore this and rush for the kills. The developers believe that most hunters don't even know about the boost of experience and are not rewarded efficiently for playing with the scavengers when they do know about the bonus effects. Therefore, the experience granted for downing a scavenger is now doubled to 400 from 200, and the execution experience has been decreased overall. As hunters gain more downs before for executing, the bonus experience granted will also be increased, really incentivizing going for the downs instead of the executions. The philosophy here is very important as the developers have created a proper power roll which hasn't really been seen in too many other asymmetrical games. Scavengers cannot by any means joke around the hunter without fear of death. Hunters have the opportunity to make instant executions to push the game into their favor or take a risk in order to earn more experience or prestige which grants them more resources. For as long as hunters are properly rewarded for their risk, then it is likely that we'll see less instant executions and more opportunities for scavengers to return to the game after a mistake. This should help relieve players of their issues with executions, but still maintain that tense feeling of danger since they could still potentially be taken out of the game. The instant executions themselves are a needed evil for Death Garden. Originally, I was not too keen on instant executions when I was first introduced to them as I felt it could end the game too quickly or there just wasn't enough incentive, but over time I came to realize just how important this was. Scavengers being given that immediate second chance would let us look back at Dead by Daylight where the killer is less feared but more played with, and hunters in this game are not meant to be toyed around. They are meant to be dangerous, and they are now, and they wouldn't be if you could walk up to one and say, I've got a second chance, I can bully them and go down, don't worry about it, you'll get me back up. Here in Death Garden, we lack that comfort. When you run into the hunter, it could be your last moments in the game. However, that doesn't mean it should be. Hunters that ignore the experience boost will show that their skill level does not match with the top hunters, and that by going for the executions, it will not be rewarding. Yes, they will get the kills, and yes, they can get their dominance, but their overall ranking with the new system will show that they just are not that good, and hopefully that pushes them to do better the next time. It is clear that experience and prestige is part of the lore of Death Garden, and as a hunter of true skill, we will give scavengers an extra chance to be hunted because we need to show off just how good we can be. There will be another weekly challenge for us to achieve this week for a hunter skin called Silent Attack, I believe it is for the sniper rifle, which will go to the stalker. Similar to the fog mask we got last week, we'll be able to earn the cosmetic through a challenge. As for future patches to come to Death Garden, it is in early access and the purpose of this early access is for them to iron out issues with the community and work on improving the game as a whole. 
Small content patches will release with frequent updates to balance and gameplay. As this patch releases today, we could actually be expecting another insider within the next two weeks to announce yet another patch to assure gameplay suits our needs. If you want to provide feedback, share it to the developers in the Death Garden Discord. They've been listening to all the feedback and will continue to improve the game. They also released a survey not too long ago, and I'll be sure to retweet any of the surveys that they have out to bring as much awareness as possible. Please make sure that if you want your voice to be heard, that you please respond to the surveys and give them your honest opinion. For me, I'm very excited for the changes. The leaderboard is yet another fantastic addition as it gives me another goal to achieve as I work towards the various prestiges for the characters I'm already on. As far as the content, it is nice to hear that they'll be focusing on the game itself, but they will be adding new content in small bits over time. I really do hope we get a nice cosmetic shop. I really do like killing with some fashion. I do love all the cosmetics they have so far, and I'm going to definitely be working towards that new silent attack sniper rifle. I think it's a sniper rifle. I could be totally wrong on that. But uh, with that out of the way, thank you guys for watching. That's all I have for the patch notes. Do you like the patch notes? Are you excited for what's to come? Are there things you wish to see in the near future? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.